I keep several plants here on the floor. This is my view. Sun in the face. And I really need to go through my closet. I cannot believe we're doing this today. I am so excited. So welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Alexa and I recently lost almost 40 pounds, I want to say. These clothes that I have are things that I have acquired between more or less 2010 to now. There are a mix of sizes as well because I've had weight fluctuations. In the past, it's worked out for me really well to have kept some of my smaller clothes. That is why I'm not just throwing things out willy-nilly. Bra drawer, panty drawer and also socks and nylons. And this is my perfume drawer. I also keep my neck warmers and my headbands in here because then they grab the smell and also some scrunchies. The one drawer I really, really need to clean out is this gym and pajama drawer. I have jeans and some leggings and this shirt that shouldn't be here. I absolutely need to go through this because none of my jeans fit me anymore. Same story for my shirt drawer right here. I've got belts on the side and then a bunch of shirts that I really need to try on and go through. Then I've got a sweater drawer, which is fine. I mean, if it's if my sweaters are big, I don't care. And then I have my closet. And I said I wouldn't put clothes here a long time ago because I used to have a rack, but clearly I have no room for a rack. It has to go here and it is jam packed with the things. I want to take all the clothing that doesn't fit that I know I could possibly wear again and put it downstairs. I'm not going to declutter it because I feel like that's really wasteful, especially knowing that I may or may not fluctuate in weight. All right, so this H&M tank top is fine. I've got a shirt from Simon's that I've already worn, but here it is in the past. Lovely winner's tank top, ruched, wait, smocked, with really stupid straps, but it's cute. And this shirt is getting demoted to pajama duty. This is a tank top from Club Monaco, cute. This is a thrifted tank top that's too big, but it's still cute. And I've got a t-shirt from Old Navy from high school. A shirt from Winners, which I love because of the shoulder detail. Okay, a cotton core collection top from The Bay. Whatever, it's fine. This weird thing from Forever. And this is terrible. What was I thinking? I'm getting rid of that. This is a ribbed cotton tank from H&M. These are awesome. Highly recommend, I have a few. And I've got a t-shirt from high school. I use it as an undershirt. Another ribbed tank from H&M. A men's t-shirt from Walmart that's getting demoted to pajama duty. Yes. This is really weird and tight. Oh gosh, I've got a slew of black tank tops. They are a bit of an obsession. This is not good anymore. This is a sleep top from Gap, but it's cute. And this is from Mango. What a weird neckline. Another one of these core collection tops. French Connection, boxy stripe top. And this is from La Senza. Another Walmart men's top, but in gray. Pajama duty, hello. And we are done with the first drawer, yes! Now let's go hunting in the closet for more treasures because you know there's so much stuff in here. Weird floral blazer thing from Zara that I actually love, so I'm not getting rid of this. It's fantastic. Love it. Yes, those... Oh, this is also from Zara. This is silk. And it's from, it's retro Zara, it's like 2006, or maybe 2007. This is a pajama top that I wear out with a different bra, obviously. Super cute from Simon's. This is a Forever 21 tank top that I will never get rid of. I don't know why, I just love it. I got it for like $8. And this is some weird top that my mom convinced me to buy because it's 100% silk, but it has the most awkward lining and I just don't even understand. This top, 
looks better backwards. See? Isn't that so much better? But then, whatever. <laughs> a silk t-shirt from an American Apparel warehouse sale. I mean, it's silk. I have a problem with silk. Here's another silk top from Zara. Yay. And this is a non-silk top from Zara. I don't know how I feel about this. I'll keep it in for a while, see if I actually wear it. Not the most flattering. This is a Club Monaco silk top with leather accents. I'm gonna wash out the deodorant stains on this, but if I tuck it in, it doesn't look so oversized. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. There are so many silk tops. This is a silk top from Simon's that I still don't wear because I'm afraid to stain, but it just lives in my closet. Isn't that sad? It is so cute. This is a H&M top, not silk, but I really like the color and the flowers. This is a thrifted top that is not silk, but it's a really nice material and it has a ridiculous bib neckline thing. Another silk top, thrifted. Please let me know in the comments down below what you would wear with this color. This is a fitted brown top that I never wear, but we'll see. It just recently started to fit me again. And this is a very awkward wrap cardigan. It's so awkward. It had such potential. It's from Mango. I love 90s cardigans. They all fit so cute. Well, it is another day. It is the 28th of February, not that anyone cares. The day I first started doing this soft declutter slash reorganizing of my drawers, I did laundry, but most of my laundry is currently pajamas. <laughs> it's time to do my bottoms drawer, which is a bit messed up right now. And then he said, let there be light. This is a gold skirt from Zara, which I absolutely love. It's too big now, but I still wear it. And this is a plaid skirt from Gap. Yes. Strange, awkwardly fitting Forever 21 skirt because it flares too much. I don't know. Not sure about it. Let me know what you think. Girl, this skirt is from Femme Carrière and it fits so nice. When I first bought it, I didn't get to wear it too many times because I gained weight and now I'm wearing it and I'm so happy. I actually wore, out, wore it out in March and it's got this beautiful A line type of slit and these you know gorgeous stick stitching that completely cinches you in it's just oh it's so good and another one bites the dust this skirt is too big and it doesn't feel right it feels like a bag on me ridiculous i've got this pair of pants that i bought for job interviews in january 2020 ha 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 never went to any of those and now they don't fit still have the tag great Fantastic. Love that booty dance. Then I've got a skirt that I used to wear when I was 20 and now it fits again. This pencil skirt looks cheap. It's from H&M. I'm decluttering it. I don't like... No. Seriously, what were they thinking with this waistband? Why did I buy this? These are a pair of paper bag pants. They're too loose, but when I tie them, who's gonna know? Nobody's gonna know. I've got another one of these that's sort of like a pajama pant. These are not as great. H&M stretchy denim. These are fine for now. I mean, sure. Got an old Topshop skirt. They're, it's a loose, but it's passable. Um, and I've got as well a pair of... Why am I still... Oh. The Levi's, the Levi's shorts. Yeah, this sucks. These are way too big. Oh my gosh, this is early 2000s. So it's actually a low-waisted pencil skirt in a chino material with a mini zip. It is so weird. Oh, I am not getting rid of these. These are Topshop mom jeans. They fit too big now, but they're so comfortable. They're not stretched, they're cropped hard pass on these high-waisted jeggings from American Eagle that are fitted. I bought them when I was overweight because I was looking for black jeans that fit 
They're uncomfortable, they attract lint, the cut is super unflattering. At this point, you might as well just wear leggings. Like, what is even the point? I got these Levi's in the liquidation section at the bay for $22. I couldn't believe it at the time. They were slightly loose, I, or maybe that was just the fit before, but now they really don't fit. Oh my gosh, these cropped flares from Gap have seen better days. They are the softest jeans ever. My mom has two pairs. I only had one, but they're dying. Then we've got yoga jeans. I got these on sale for $10 at Simon's and they're normally over $100, but now they are too big. I got them early 2020, but yeah. These are American Eagle cropped flares. Again, these are too big, but when I bought them, I got them slightly too big. Moving on to a pair of jeans from Gap. These are my fave distressed jeans. They're thin denim, not very stretchy. They fit loosely, keeping. And then these are another horrible pair of skinny jeans. Moving on. These pants are from when I was in my 20s. <laughs> and they're hemmed, I must have grown. I've gotta unstitch these. Here are a pair of H&M denim that I got on sale. They hardly fit when I bought them and now I'm swimming in them, but fortunately I wore them between my weight transitions so they got good use. I also loved these so much that I bought them in two sizes and the larger size doesn't fit. Now the smaller size fits, but you know, it's still loose, but it works well as a mom jean that's baggy. And uh, you can even tell that they're the ones I wore less because, I mean, the denim is darker from not overwashing. This is all the denim I've got to bring to storage. Yay! Who doesn't love a cardigan? I got this one on sale at Old Navy. It's cropped, a little bit short. This one from Gap is an absolute fave, we'll never get rid of. It's a waffle cardigan that I bought, I think it was in 2020. Really love that. And I have so many button downs. Now, I have mixed feelings about these because they're a bit distressed and I'm not sure how I feel about this style anymore just because you can't dress this up, really. But. I mean, they're kind of handy in the summertime when you want to cover yourself from the sun. These are silky, not silky, but they're Lyocell, I think, from American Eagle. I've got this denim one from Mango. This is a stiffer material, obviously. It's a stretchy denim, but it's turning kind of yellow behind the collar. And um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really kind of over the light denim shirt situation. It's very... 2014. <laughs> then I've got some flannels, lots of flannels, and another denim shirt. Let's move on to dresses. This is what I wore for my CoverGirl lipstick try on. That's also why I don't do any bra videos because I can't even fill up the cups. Mango fringe dress from 2007. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is the dress I'm never gonna get rid of. Then we have this uh, Urban Outfitters dress, which has got an awkward mesh. I need to figure out a bra situation for this. I'm not entirely convinced, like it's cute, but mm. Then I've got a, uh, this is a romper from Forever 21. A lace dress from French Connection. I actually wore this to quite a few things, now it fits a little loose, and oh, this thrifted navy velvet midi dress that no longer fits. The camera is not doing the color justice at all. An H&M jacquard dress, old, but I've worn it to so many things and I still want to wear it, continuously. I've got my mother's 90s dress from Le Chateau. A mini bodycon body dress that makes me feel naked. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like at the time it came with a matching cardigan and I wish they made clothes like that now, but they don't. I have a long dress. It's an oversized midi dress um, that is now too loose. It would work as a bikini butt cover up at most. And I've got a French Connection awkwardly high low dress worthy of 
very awkward dancing, <laughs> as you can see. I still really like this because of the shoulder detail. I feel like it's really cool and comfortable, um, handy for the summertime. Just throw on, chuck on a pair of heels. I've got a silk dress from Club Monaco and it's got a built-in slip, really cute. Um, and of course, this is my old mango work dress from when I used to work there. Uh, it's a knit dress. I never entirely felt confident about how my stomach looked in it and now I don't care. A loose Romwe dress that I got in PR when I used to do style videos. Um, this needs to be belted. And I've got this really awkward bodycon from H&M that I'm definitely not keeping. It's a t-shirt material and it's a bit baggy at the waist now. It's just not the most flattering for a bodycon. And look at the shoulders, ew. I have another bodycon. I don't know, every time I lost weight, I would be like, okay, I gotta buy a bodycon. And But anyways, this one's got pilling and it's too big on the top now, so it's just not right for me. Nope. This is a dress I'll never get rid of because it was my mom's, and it's so crazy how the oldest clothes look the best for the longest. Well, that took a really long time. <laughs> do you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I should do something where it's a shop my stash style of series where I match different pieces and style different pieces from my wardrobe um, to make outfits, to make actual outfits rather than this just be a try on thing. I need to see how these clothing items perform together and see if I'm really going to actually wear them. I might discover outfits that I wouldn't have otherwise thought of. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. If you know anyone else on YouTube who does that kind of a video, like a shop my closet, you know what to do. Leave a comment down below, refer me, please. And I thank you so much for getting through to the end of this video. Hope you have a wonderful day and bye.